Okay, today I'm back to give you guys another video. Today I will be unboxing the Motorola Escape 500 ANC wireless headphones. Sit down, relax, and enjoy my show. Let's start my intro. <music> All right, let's go ahead and start the show. Now, today we are unboxing the Motorola Escape 500 Active Noise Canceling Wireless Headphones. Now, these on Amazon, they were going for $40, and that's what I paid, but I just checked uh, today, and they dropped them down to $35.99, which is a pretty good deal if they sound good. Now, let me show you what the box looks like. It says Motorola there. Escape 500 A and C. Now these say that they have 12 hours of playtime with uh, A and C on. So you'll probably get a little bit more without the A and C. Now these don't have uh, Bluetooth 5.0, they have Bluetooth 4.0. And as you can see, it says Bluetooth 4.0 right there. And your range, it says that you can get up to 39 feet. Whoa. I will try that out. Now I'm gonna review these. Um, it's gonna take me maybe about a week so I can test them out. And then I'll add the review to this video. So stay tuned right after this video, the review should start. So let's go ahead and open them up. I already kind of uh, took off the seal and let's see what we get. So we have the headphones here and they look all right. We'll see how. Now, one of the main things that I was hating before on Motorola is that there's other companies that are on this same price range that are giving a bag and Motorola hasn't but I'm not gonna kill them for that because you know they're not going for a lot of money. But let's check out the cables first. So I do like that Motorola added a nice long cable and it's a 3.5 to 3.5, but they are not gold plated as you can see there. They, they're just generic, but the cable itself does feel pretty strong. So I'll let you know how this is. And then these are not type C, they're micro USB. And the cable feels, uh, feels okay. And it's a uh, decent, decently long, so not bad. So let's go ahead and finally get to the headphones. So these are the headphones here has the Motorola logo there. And wow, that's nice. This is what you kind of would see on more expensive headphones. Uh, it has, you know, so you can adjust it and it has the numbers there. So you can precisely adjust it to where you want it. And you don't forget. It says wireless there on top. Has the leather material. Um, this is not memory foam. It's a different kind of foam. It doesn't feel very soft. It feels okay. But the ear cuffs do feel very nice. I do like that. Now there are, I saw online where people were complaining on the construction, but to me, the construction is, is, is pretty good for the price, but I'm gonna let you guys know more on the review. The, all this is plastic. It is not aluminum. And down here, you do have a volume rocker, your uh, charging port, you do have a mic and then your power button. And then on the other side, I'm sure this is the ANC button to turn it on. And then your headphone cable port. Now there's one uh, review that I saw where the guy or the person was saying that in the instruction, it didn't tell you how to turn on the headphones and they gave them bad review for that. Um, I don't think they deserve a bad review for that. 
pretty much all the headphones you just gotta hold the power button for a couple seconds and they should turn on so uh yeah so that was my unboxing um stay tuned and i'll be back with the review Okay, so we're back. And after about a week of testing these headphones out, I'm very confident that I can give you guys a good review. Now, today we are reviewing the Motorola Escape 500 ANC wireless headphones. Now, these at the moment, they have them on sale on Amazon for $35.99. But are they worth the money? Let's take a look. Okay, let's move on to the accessories. Now, the first accessory I'm going to show you here is the headphone cable. Now, it's a generic cable and they are not gold plated. And I didn't like this cable. Um, it just didn't sound that good. So there was a uh, static and a little bit of it just didn't sound good. When you move the cable, it doesn't sound good. So this is not a good cable in my opinion. And then we do get a charging cable, which is micro USB. Um, it is not type C, but for $35, I'm not gonna kill Motorola for that. The cable is decent and they charge the headphones fine. So for the accessories, I mean, $35, I would have been nice if they gave me a, at least a, a carrying bag. That would have been great, but I'm not gonna complain that much. And I guess they give you all the stuff, but because I don't like this cheap cable, I hope Motorola fixes that. That's the reason I'm gonna give Motorola thumbs down. Now let's move on to the hardware. Okay, moving on to the hardware. Now this right here is all plastic. So all this is plastic. Now I have seen on Amazon where some people um, we're complaining that this part broke, but this is aluminum. The whole band is aluminum, so it goes inside. Now inside here on top has a nice soft leather material, but it's kind of uh, hard. Kind of feels like there's cardboard inside. And in here, there's some padding, so it's not the best, but it's okay, I guess. Uh, but I do like that, and I'm gonna point this out. I do like that they put these numbers there so you can see and adjust the headphones how you like it. So that's pretty cool. It says wireless there. And then the ear cups, they do uh, swivel, which I do like. I do like that. And you can lay them flat, which is cool. And another thing that I do like about the ear cups is that they're very soft and you can tell they're memory foam. So I been I use these uh, straight on a, a full sitting for like three hours, and I was very happy and of the comfort. So that was nice. Now there is some buttons. You have a volume rocker there, which was good, and then your micro USB port to charge it, and then you have your uh, power button there. Now all you have to do is press it for a few seconds and they will turn on. I, I did also see some people complaining that they didn't know how to turn on their headphones. Usually you just have to hold the power button and they usually turn on. So that being said, what do I think about the hardware? I think it's okay. Um, it's not bad for the price. I think, you know, they're okay. They're not gonna win any awards for, you know, the best hardware, but for the price, I think they're okay. So I'm gonna give um, Motorola thumbs up for the hardware. Now let's move on to the stretch test. Okay, moving on to the stretch test. Now this is a test that I usually do for people that wanna buy these headphones. I usually do a stretch test to see if they can stretch out for people that have big heads or if you just wanna see how much they can stretch out. Now on the hardware, I forgot to tell you guys that there is a slider button there and that is for your ANC. 
So just uh, keep that in mind. And then you also have a headphone cable port there. That being said, let's go ahead and do the stretch test. So I already opened them up and let's go ahead. One, two, and three. And as you can hear, no crazy noises. Um, I knew they were gonna pass the stretch test because it's nice uh, aluminum band. So yeah, Motorola, you pass the stretch test. Now let's move on to the sound quality. Okay, moving on to the sound quality. Now, some of the albums I used to test these headphones out, I did play some Bruno Mars, some Jay-Z, some Romeo Santos, and some Mac Miller. Now, let's first talk about the bass. The bass on these headphones is okay. It's above average, but I can not say is really good. Sometimes it sounds, you know, good in my opinion for some tracks, but then other times I feel like it overpowers the mids and I wasn't too happy with that. But again, it's still, I, I think it's still just above average at the moment. I'm gonna, that's what I'm gonna rate it. The separation between the bass and the mids was okay at times, but at times, like I told you guys, it can overpower the mids. Now for that, I think it's okay. The price is not too bad for the base that you're getting. I think that's kind of what I was expecting with these headphones. It wasn't superb base, but it's just above average. Now let's move on to the mids and the highs. Okay, moving on to the mids and the highs. I feel the mids, again, they're just okay. And I will say they're just in the average to just above average right in that line I, I can't tell you that they're good but just in that line they're not trash but they're just you know average between average and above average i wasn't that impressed with the mids they're just okay but again for the price they're not bad now the highs i felt the highs were a little bit better than the mids in my opinion uh, I, when I was hearing stuff like Romeo Santos, the instruments, everything sounded pretty clear. Again, they were not superb, but they were okay and passable in my opinion. Um, but that's all I can say. I think the all around sound is just above average. That's what I was, I would tell you. I feel like these headphones in the sound quality, they're average headphones with above average sound. Now let's move on to my final thoughts. Okay, these are my final thoughts. Now, in the beginning of the review, I asked you guys, are these worth the money? And that less than $40, I would say yes. Now, let me explain why. I think the build quality is pretty good. Now, I know I killed some other Motorola headphones on my channel, and I'm gonna leave links below to those. I believe those were the Escape 200. Now, these are the Escape 500, and these have noise canceling. Now let's get into the noise canceling. The noise canceling is okay. Um, for the price, I'm gonna tell you it's okay. And it's a, a decent feature that Motorola put. It works, but it's not the best. I mean, you can't compare that to more expensive noise canceling uh, headphones, but it, it still works a little bit. Um, I was able to kind of uh, bring down the noise on an AC unit. So I did notice that. Now, the Bluetooth range was pretty good. Um, and actually Motorola states on their, as you can see there, 39 feet. Now I wanna bring that up because I actually tested them, tested them out and I was able to get 39 feet exactly. So it seems like Motorola tests these out perfectly and that's what I got 39 feet and that's not bad usually the 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 range on Bluetooth headphones are around 30 feet it's getting better with the new Bluetooth now this doesn't have Bluetooth 5.0 it has Bluetooth 4.1 I believe um, which is not the newest Bluetooth but I was still able to get 39 feet which I still think is pretty good and again for the price that's pretty good now, the sound quality is above average. I mean, don't expect, you know, the best 
sound out of less than $40 headphones. Keep that in mind. But for an all around package, everything that we're, you're getting here at the price, that's why I'm saying they're worth the price of uh, less than $40. I think it's a good price. If you're looking for an affordable pair of uh, Bluetooth headphones, I think this is a decent pair for the price. They're worth the price. And I'm going to give Motorola a thumbs up for this product. So I hope Motorola comes up with a nicer product that I can check out. But that was my unboxing and my review. Check out all my videos. Please subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.